Oh wow, so many things I used to dislike. You know, it was a, a daily battle of being consumed by this drive to just want to change my body and then coming full circle and realizing that I can't. Just really coming to terms with those, those battles takes a long time. I had issues with my ankles growing up because someone once said they were like cankles. Members of my family were like, you can't wear boots that cut you off there. So I had this issue thinking that they were something terrible and they had tree trunks for legs and actually they're just really strong. I was terrified of having a bum. I had like an ex-boyfriend in London. He was like, you know, you've got a good bum. And I was like, have I? What's a good bum? It's kind of funny because until someone sometimes compliments you or celebrates a part of you, you have no idea that it was something special or to be loved. When I was transitioning into a plus size model, the hip size was one of the, the main ways to kind of become bigger. I actually invested time into eating a little bit more and working out to build up. And now I, I don't even think about that at all. I'm not trying to fit a shape or a size. I have um, a little mole. And interesting, I have this like patch of freckles here that goes all the way up to my nipple. A girl recently on Instagram was really upset because I'd done a photo shoot and they'd completely airbrushed the mole and the freckles out. So she was like, oh, they've gotten rid of your freckle patch. I mean, who decides what is and isn't a flaw is quite fascinating to me. I love that my body is all mine. I love that I've had to come on a journey with it. It takes time to know what your body wants and needs and responds to and really connecting my mind to my body. I remember kind of being confused about my body and its curves and having them at such a young age. I remember getting to a point where I was so much more womanly than all the other girls in my class. They used to do this thing at school where if you put a pencil between your breasts and did that, then they would laugh at you because you had boobs. So I think I kind of misused them and I thought I had to be sexy and I had to wear push-up bras and they were, you know, I was confident and, you know, womanly and sexy and all those things and it, I wasn't doing anything wrong. I was just kind of trying to be confident because actually inside I was not confident at all. I don't want these girls to feel what I did when I was growing up. I just really want them to love themselves and be happy and realize they don't need to fight who they are.